Hi YouTube, welcome back to my vlogs and welcome back to yet another what I bought my kids for Christmas. And I definitely say what I bought my kids for Christmas, although Martin paid for it, he wouldn't have a clue what I bought the kids for Christmas. So I'm back here doing a Michael Bublé where I pop out at Christmas time and do all these videos um, and you guys all watch them um, around Christmas time. Not so much on the other ones, but that's okay, we'll just roll with it. I don't want to make this a stupidly long video, so I'm going to just get over and done with, with all the talking at the beginning, and I'm just going to show you what I got my kids for Christmas. I will put in a card above what I got the kids last year for Christmas, and if you're interested, I am making a video on talking over the things that I bought last year that the kids have enjoyed playing with all year, and the, and the things that kind of bombed a little bit. So for those of you who haven't followed my channel before, hi, I'm Nicole, I am the creator of the or Orange... Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm Nicole, I'm the creator of the Orange Bunch, formerly known as IVF Mama Vlogs, because two out of the three of my children were created via little science and a little love, aka IVF. Roman is the oldest and the one that made me a mummy first, so he is nine obviously a male. Then we've got Mila Rose, she is obviously a girl and she is six and then my last boy is the youngest and he is coming up for uh, February next year. So very different and the things that I've got them for Christmas. Let's crack into it! Alright I'm going to start with Micah and things are going to get a little awkward here because I've got new pants on and I haven't washed them first and so they're like really tight on me right now and I'm trying to you know move without looking really awkward because they're quite tight everywhere. Oh god! Oh and in typical true Nicole fashion my charger is blinking that it's going to go flat so we're just going to keep going for as long as we can until the battery dies and then I will change it over. Okay so the first thing we have for Micah is this beautiful, oh gosh can we see it, first thing we have for Micah is this delicious bottle of aioli and you're probably like WTF Nicole why do you have a bottle of aioli for your four year old? Uh, that is because he loves this stuff honestly squeezes the whole bottle out for his dinner every single night. He really stoked to have a bottle of Heinz aioli in, in his Christmas presents. Next thing we have is this big stack of chalk here. Um, all the kids got some sort of chalk in their Christmas present this year because they love going outside and using the chalk on the very minimal small amount of concrete we have at home. Next up we have Play-Doh wheels. So when I asked Michael what he wants for Christmas from Santa Claus he just says bubbles and Play-Doh. That's it. That's all he wants is bubbles and Play-Doh and he's also asked for aioli which we've got. But um so because I know that he asked Santa for bubbles and Play-Doh I also decided to get him some Play-Doh as well because you know I want to be in his good books as well. Can't always be Santa. All three kids got this in their um oh my god my pants they're so tight can you see them look how tight these things are damn okay so all of my kids got these things um they are Zuru Smashes Dino Di oh Di <laughs> oh my gosh Dino Ice Age Surprise over 25 surprises so Micah got this one with the claw hanging out it's blue and it's got a whole bunch of really messy things to do in there which I know Micah's gonna love but the great thing is is I bought it and we're going camping for Christmas so the likelihood of any of this coming home is very low yes only uh, holiday themed here with it's called sing and play Christmas carols play seven easy Christmas carols on your own el electronic keyboard I know it's Christmas but Michael uses this all year round but Anyway, <laughs> next thing from Kmart, because that's my favourite place to shop, is the traffic light and it actually goes, the lights do go, pop batteries in there and um, I thought the kids would really enjoy, not just Micah, but all the kids would enjoy this 
um, when they go play outside because um, it's summer here in New Zealand if you didn't know I'm from New Zealand and our Christmas is actually in summer. So why did I put these so far away from the camera? Well that's a little bit with the light as well. Okay so the next thing I bought was Blippi because Micah is absolutely obsessed with Blippi still. He had a Blippi party at the start of this year um, and he's still obsessed with him. Oh, oh that was a fail. Oh god, come on. Doesn't like to do it on show. Maybe I'm pressing the wrong place. Let's spell oh. my name together. B L I P P I Blippi to have job. in bed with him or something, and then he'll probably roll over in the middle of the night and he'll start talking and freak Roman out. But he's got himself a Blippi doll. Next thing my kids got is this magic glow in the dark blanket and I did actually test it out through this little bit. There's a bit down there and I put it in the light and then looked at it and it actually glows pretty well. Next thing I got for Micah because again he said he really wanted play-doh was this play-doh shape and learn and I remember buying this. I bought this in like June I think. I start my Christmas shopping fairly early to just try and spread the cost of it all. Also because I got this from Toy World if you're in New Zealand. Toy World always has a manager's special where you get something like this was $45 and I think it was down to $15 so I grabbed this when I saw it when I was buying someone else a birthday present. Next thing we have because we have an Osmo if you don't know what Osmo for iPad is just google it but anyway we have Osmo and Mike is all of a sudden in the past couple of months just really loving the whiteboard and the whiteboard markers that come off Osmo to do the monster one if you know what I'm talking about. So I decided to buy him his own whiteboard and it comes with whiteboard markers so it's just really cute and I think he'd really enjoy that. Creepers, creepers. I make this look so awkward because of my pants I'm sorry. Um, two more activity type things, more play-doh. Honestly, we've got stacks and stacks of Play-Doh, but this is the Centos Play-Doh, so the Play-Doh actually smells nice, which is a bonus, I guess. Comes with lots of little stampers, you can change the rollers out, so just lots of really cool things to do with this one. And the last thing for Micah is, because he asked for bubbles for Christmas, is this giant bubble tray to make giant bubbles. <laughs> Funny that. All right. Next, the older kids. So let's go with Mila Rose next in the pile here. So as I said, she's six. Extremely girly. Anything cute, anything pink, anything like stereotypical girl, I got her. So she is very easy to buy for, which means she's very easy to over buy for. And I struggle with that. And sometimes if I've over bought for her, like I have in the past, I've kept some stuff in my wardrobe and left it for her birthday which is in May. So the first thing I've bought her and I also bought Roman as well but has not arrived well has not arrived yet I'm hoping it's still gonna arrive before Christmas is a space torg watch. I'll have it here. Here is a picture of what I purchased and I purchased it online thinking I was buying it from New Zealand and I was not. It was from Australia so it's got to come from Australia so I don't have any hope in it arriving here before Christmas it has been dispatched already it is on a plane here but of course so is everybody else's Christmas shopping so I'm I'm really not holding my breath for it to arrive here in time but here is Mega Rose's one she got a pink one um, you download an app called All My Tribe um, and you also have to have a, a phone plan so they can text on it she can ring on it and do the usual like Fitbit type stuff um, but there's no social media there's no camera so they can't so it's made for kids basically is a way to communicate with their parents there's a school mode so that they can't muck around with it at school and so you put the numbers in that you want them to be able to contact so it would just be me dad um, their grandparents um, and their aunties that kind of thing so here's me Rose as well <laughs> Next thing I got Mila Rose is because she's just super arty and just loves writing and drawing and all that kind of stuff. Good old Kmart. We have a cute seahorsey just pad thing. And then this unicorn. Ah, oh, it's got sellotape on there. I can't even open it. So this one's got like a little stamper, highlighters, erasers with all the cute little bits and pieces in there. Looks like there's some washi tape up the top. Mila Rose, because like I said, I bought a chalk thing for each kid. So Micah got that huge pack of chalk. Mila Rose has 
unicorn chore and she has requested a unicorn birthday party for her next birthday so she's obviously gotten into the whole unicorn thing um but yeah these are in the shape of a unicorn horn which i thought was quite cool mila rose's version hers is much lighter than the boys one so i don't know actually what's in this one but uh oh this one says 10 wild layers of surprise so this one's got less surprises i don't know why and i don't think it's messy Oh no, it's got unicorn poop, it's messy. So I know she'll be really excited to get that. Next thing, again, Zuru. Good old Zuru, they're making a lot of money off me. Um, I'm gonna have to stick that down. So I got the Zuru Pets Like. I mean, it's pink and it's a unicorn and it's interactive. What is there not to like for Mila Rose? So I'm sure she'll love it. So it's got a carrot and you can interact with it, brush its hair and it talks and does stuff i didn't actually research this one next thing we're still on the lol train over in this household so meloris has the lol winter shallow over here and you can't see it's over there um that was a joint present last year um so i just bought, bought her another accessory to go with it this is a another house like a halloweeny goth looking one so it comes with like a little tent um, what else can we see in here? I don't know if you can see that very well. Tent, some sort of tray, little lantern, little dolly, little pillow, and blanket, and popcorn. Yes, yeah, so it's like nighttime, sleepy time. LOL. This is one present, and this is for her Our Generation doll. She has a whole bunch of Our Generation doll items. So this one is a night table set. And the little cactus lights up. How cute is that? The other one is a night nighty night carousel set. So this one, this little carousel actually goes around and plays music, I think. Does it actually go around? Okay, maybe it doesn't move. Maybe it just makes music. Nighttime book there for her, our generation dolls. Very cute. Okay, next item. We have another... Uh, OMG LOL doll. Uh, this is one of the older ones, but that's because I buy things so far in advance. Some things kind of get new. Like, I think we're up to series like three or four now, actually. So this is, okay, I'm back. My battery actually lasted a decent amount of time considering it was flashing that whole time. We were talking about this. Um, I think I was saying that we're past series two now. Meteoros doesn't have this one, so it doesn't matter. So she's gonna enjoy that anyway. So she's got a few of these. She's got a, I don't know, a candy floss looking one there and a blue haired one over there and a braided hair one over there. I don't even know what they're called. But anyway, now she has this one, which she looks like a kind of garage girl. I don't know if you can see in there. It is this one here. Next. <laughs> Damn pants. So it's all the way over here. Um, she got this for her Barbie. She's requested Barbies this year. She has a couple of Barbies, but no real Barbie sets. And then all of a sudden this year, she's like, I want Barbie. And I'm like, eh. All right, so we have a Barbie carriage. Um, it, this thing turns, I think this is like a, oh God, I could not make this look any more awkward right now. It turns, so Cinderella's carriage. Can you see in the glare? And then, and then it can turn into a pumpkin. Cool, okay, next on the Barbie front, we've got, um, Climb and Explore Playground, uh, Barbie and Skipper. This thing here, which has um, Skipper and, is that Barbie? I mean, Barbie's got brown hair. I don't think, I don't know what this one's called. I don't know what this Barbie in particular is called. Anyway, so it comes with like a playground, um, some little play accessories because it looks like it comes with sand it does yay more messy stuff awesome i'm slotting this in here even though i'm finished the video i forgot to show this mila rose asked santa for a color reveal barbie so i got her a color reveal barbie last oh second to last thing more our generation stuff a generation table because she has all this food stuff and her dolls don't have any table so now she has the Our Generation table. Last item for Mila Rose is more Our Generation stuff. Um, it's in a brown box because um, someone was actually selling this stuff on the Facebook Marketplace 
and it was all in pristine condition and it was cheap so I was like sweet I'll grab it all so it was this pet store set that so comes with the counter the cash register I don't know if these are two sets combined and I'm just combining two here I'm not sure um, an aquarium with a little oh, I just there's just something about the our generation stuff maybe I'm living vicariously through me the rose but this stuff I would have loved as a kid. The little fishies go on the tank. Then we've got a little doggy bag in here, which has bones, a ball, a little fish, maybe that's meant to be for a cat, and then a little rope, and then the actual carry bag. Got a ferret thing with a little, oh gosh, I don't know what these are called. A little wheel to run in, a little thing for water, so there's that one, doggy bed, <laughs> do you know what's ironic, I haven't actually got any pets for her for her our generation stuff, my bad, so she's gonna have to pretend that she's got a pet, even though she's got a pet store, two little baskets for her non-existent pets, um, we've got an outfit here, a dress, which came with black shoes, a necklace and some cute little sunnies and that is it for me Loris. right on to Roman my nine-year-old boy who is into technology and all those things that are really start to get really expensive when they get to that age so of course for him here we go I also got him a space space I need more sleep I got him a Space Talk watch in a different colour that I can't remember, but here is the picture of it. Also still coming from Australia with all the same bits and bobs and same details that I just gave you for Mana Rose's one, but this is Roman's version. Man, I really hope they come in time for Christmas, but I'm not holding my breath. Right, first thing we've got a Smiggle, <laughs> Smiggle book light sprites, sprite, sprites? bendy book light. Adjustable bendy arm. Roman likes to read and draw and things like that after he's gone to bed and the light's always out because he shares a bedroom with Micah so this will be quite handy for him when he wants to do his drawing um, once he's gone to bed. Even though really technically he should be just going to sleep but never mind. Okay next thing, uh, every year you hear me talk about Osmo and like the great vlogger I am every year I forget to show you Osmo so my bad maybe just look for someone else's YouTube video on what Osmo is so I just like to add to his Osmo collection so now we've got coding so we've got two different codings here for Osmo so basically Osmo goes with your iPad it's a bunch of like activities learning activities that connect to the iPad it's got a little mirror and what you do down here on the desk is showing up on the screen and there's a whole bunch of different activities so this one here got the sticky jelly stuff but it's so hot that all the like the thing on the front here has fallen off it's finally gotten hot anyway so there's two so this one's it must be a music one. Oh no that's not this is the music one. Oh god i don't know one of them's a music one anyway so that's what it's called osmo so search osmo on youtube and you'll see all about all the You'll see all the different things about Osmo. Really good, my kids love it. Every single one of them, all of them love it. So there's actually a younger kids one too, which I would have liked to get for Micah. Maybe I'll get for his birthday, perhaps, because that's coming up in February. Next, Roman. Same as Micah's, got him one of them smashy ball thingies. Next, this wasn't as cool as I thought it was, but I decided to keep it because I think, obviously Roman will still enjoy it, but it's this, thing called an infinity pad so you basically draw on it you push that button up the top there and it erases it simple as that but I know he likes to play spies and schools and all that kind of stuff so this might come in handy next thing I heard him ask for this so I, th I think I heard him ask for this so I hope he did ask for this but it's Pictionary ear so it's Pictionary but you draw in the ear and everyone has to look at either the TV in the background or on their phones and obviously this special wand pen thing will draw whatever it is in the ear and you'll be able to see it on your phone but the person who's doing the drawing can't see a gosh darn thing which makes it hilarious. That's going to be great over um, 
New Year's while we're camping, I think. We'll do have lots of fun with that. So that's something that Roman has requested. Oh, I just was not on my list. Uh, which, by the way, I have an app called... I can't remember what it's called. I'll put it down in the description box. There's an app there which I've listed all the presents and you can put your budget in and you can tick things off. It's great. Anyway, so this was an impulse buy. Um, it was called Kitty's... It, it's called Kitty Zoom Studio. Um, be the star of your own video. Roman's very much into doing the video thing. Obviously, uh, probably stemmed from the fact that he's grown up on YouTube. But it has this cute little camera and you can have the green screen do things with the green screen um put it on the computer edit it all that kind of stuff so i think he would really like this so i'm glad i found it next thing is a el electric <laughs> i'm really having trouble speaking today electric circuitry <laughs> electric circuitry electric circuitry Circuitry. Electric circuitry. Super set. Contains all you need to create six individual sets all in one. I've still got the receipt in there. Maybe I was thinking of taking it back. But no, Roman would really enjoy this. Anyway, enough trying to say the name. Here's what it is. It's all about circuits and doing all sorts of different things with that. He's quite into like doing robotic type stuff and coding and all of that kind of thing so this all stems from there and I always love to buy him this thing called STEM um, STEM is basically just it stands for science technology engineering mathematics so anything you see with STEM on it is really good learning stuff um, and I buy him a lot of STEM items for Christmas and birthdays more Mr. Mystery Invisible Ink Game Book Self-explanatory. All coding. Learn to code anything. This book was from Kmart and it's got a whole, it's got a website you go to and you use this book and follow the instructions to code different things, which I thought was really neat. And if he learns to code really well and he starts making things like, um, I don't know, what do you make, what do you make when you code things? Websites? Computer games? I don't know. I actually don't know what you code. I've got an idea. But hopefully he learns to code really well and maybe that might be something he decides to do in the future. Next thing, uh, Roman got two sets of Lego. You may not see the other set there and that is because my gosh darn brother, Joel, has still not dropped it off to me. So it's at my brother's house and he keeps meaning to drop it off to me but he hasn't. And he comes here like every Wednesday for dinner. That's why I keep asking him to drop it off in case you were thinking, why don't you just go around there and pick it up? Um, so I will probably just have to go around there and pick it up because he keeps forgetting to bring it over. So the first lot of Lego that Roman has got, which Uncle Joel has still, still not bought over, is um, it's another coding thing. So it's Lego and you code it and it's something off Star Wars. I, I'm trying to vision I'm trying to visualize what it looked like, can't remember. Maybe it was that robot, that dome robot thing, whatever that thing's called. I think it's that, can't remember. Here's the picture. This is what I mean. Anyway, got that for him. And also got Friends Lego. He loves the Friends Lego. Um, got this set here, Tropical Island, because we all wish we were on holiday, but COVID has closed our borders, so we can't go anywhere. Last item for Roman is what we, I get him every year. He'll be expecting this. He knows I'm going to get this because I get it every year, but he really enjoys it. And it is the Smiggle Advent Calendar. I never pay full price for it. I know it's always going to go on special, so I wait until it goes on special. Even if it's just 20% off, I still just grab it when it's not full price because why would you pay full price when you know it's going to get go on special right so that's the smiggle ad event calendar lots of cool bits and pieces in there to do with stationery now on to the joint present for the kids for the kids i feel like that was an awkward wink oh big box here got a few accessories with it for the kids <laughs> slash for me oh it's heavy oh they got a ps4 for christmas and with their ps4 they got spider-man because it lo and behold hold lo and behold you got the playstation 4 cheaper if you bought this like substantially cheaper weird um Crash Bandicoot, because this is my childhood in a nutshell here. And 
Let's Sing 2021. Comes with two um, microphones. Our kids are gonna freaking love this. So it's karaoke pretty much, just like um, SingStar, I guess, back in the day. Lizzo, Genesis, and many more. Like, really randomly, they've got all these brand new songs, and then they have Seal, Kiss from a Rose. I don't even think my kids know who Seal is. That's it for what I bought my kids for Christmas this year. If you have any questions about some of these items, expect at least six months wait for, for until I reply to the message because I'm useless at replying. But I do see them and sometimes I reply. So I apologize if I don't reply. If you'd like to join our channel, The Orange Brunch, formerly IVF Mama Vlog, um, IVF Mama Vlog, <laughs> click the sub subscription button below. I think I need to stop now, I'm struggling. Click the subscription button below to watch our videos throughout the year, not just at Christmas time like Michael Bublé. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, comment below if you want to, and I'll see you in my next vlog, which is probably going to be what Santa bought for my kids for Christmas because Santa gave me his list so that I could collect these things to show you guys and then I have to take them all back again because of course Santa's bringing them so I don't need to keep them. It's a very awkward situation with that. Anyway, thanks for watching you guys and I will see you in my Christmas video next year in 2021. <laughs> see ya.